Now this is what I call wealth. And believe it, there was no ease getting to this point. And I'm gonna share with you our story of how we ran the richest cartel. And oh boy, is it a long, wild ride. So make sure to strap in. <clears throat> now where do we begin? Ah yes, at the coast. And we spawned in for the first time in no other than Berezino. Straight away I began looting some important areas to prepare myself for the big journey. Once I got myself going, I needed to find a location to run this business. And because of the big industrial buildings, we went with the city, Novo. What's your name, sir? Yo, what's up? Dave. Your name's Dave? Yeah, what's your name, bro? Um, my name's Eddie. Well, uh, listen, Eddie? good luck, man. Yo, same, bro. Bye bye. Dave and Dave. Guys, I'm not Dave, I'm Eddie. Wow, that is lucky. Oh, there's already a base there. We need a lot more tools. I need to be checking more sheds. Within just the first few hours, I'd found seeds. I knew this was no coincidence. All I needed now was base supplies. We've got a shovel. We've got nails. We need metal wire pliers. We need hatchet. That's about it. I think code lock. God damn. Metal wire. Wow, we've got a lot of nails. Oh my god. Holy shit, I'm out of there. Suddenly, I'm, I've am i got a lot of gear. Wow. And with a lucky KO, I secured myself a load more base supplies. And at that point, we had everything we'd need. All except a co-lock and storage. But not too long later, we spotted a raided base that had some storage and loot left over. Now this find had sorted out our storage issue, and we could go back later. Now, we just needed a co-lock. So I headed over to the trader at Clen, going through Northeast Airfield, where I could find some extra weapons to sell. But I wasn't alone. With that kill and all the loot I'd got myself, I took what I could and left the danger. Made my way into the Clen trader to get the final building resource, Code Lock. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna set up this base. Let's do it. Let's just do this. Um. Okay. We're gonna need to cut down some. Uh, you know. Are there any trees nearby? Okay. There's a tree right there. That will work. I just don't want to have to do like a long trip. Okay, we don't have enough, we don't have enough to get the bottom, the next layer down. That's fine. Okay, we've done this. Now we're just gonna get the code lock. Solid, done, sorted, done. Our very temporary toilet base where our business would begin was secured. Okay, that's sorted, sorted, let's go. An airdrop landed nearby, so I went over to see what it contained, but there were only base supplies. Instead of risking my life, I went back to that raided base you might remember, and we took their storage instead. We took two lockers and some planks back to our toilet base. Yes! 
I guess it could work right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, mate, that works. Nice. We put all of our valuables away and prepared ourselves for our first big loot run far up north for some expensive weapons and black market supplies to sell. And after armoring ourselves up a commenced military, we entered the Tizzy military base. Mate, if someone shoots at me with any gun, I'm gonna eat it up like it's for breakfast. Like it's breakfast, man. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, shit, there's a guy over there. I think he's gonna go loot this barrack. Oh shit, he's... He just headshot me! He headshot me! I cannot believe it. We had all that armor and he headshot me. Well, that was some of the worst damn shooting in my life. Yeah, I was gonna need a spare hand. Straight away I reached out to a friend who might want in on this business. I explained the plan and he was in. Coming. I see you until you're behind you. You got a bag in your hands. Can you see me? Yeah. Oh, it's a different man here. How, how, how do I look? I've got a suit. Look at my shoes, man. Look at my shoes. <laughs> they are terrible, man. Okay. You look good, though, but you look good, but I think I need to be blinged up. Now there were two of us, we'd be getting twice the work done, and I'd have some extra protection. We did a bit of looting for guns and ammo to sell, but en route to the black market trader to really find out what money we could be making with this business. And was it even worth it? Uh, yes or no? Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Ah, oh, damn, he was here the whole time. You're welcome. So, look, the skunk is worth 45k. If you get Stardog, 90k, bro. Let's average 65,000 then, in that case. 90,000 rubles for just one brick of the most expensive weed in the game. Now let's work this out here. Say we average 65,000 per brick. If we can collect just 10 of those, that brings us to half a million rubles. I knew without a doubt that this was gonna make me one of the richest players on the server. But then, with enough numbers and the right people to help us out, we would soon become the richest cartel in DayZ. With everyone playing their part in production, followed by us selling the supplies of the trader, we'd be booming. Me and Goofy did a long loot trip, got incredibly lucky with some raid tools and many other guns, which we then took back to the black market to sell and invest into our future business. And finally, we headed back home. Now let me tell you, by no means was this going to be an easy ride. Yeah, looking back, at the time I didn't really know what was around the corner. But we were definitely going to cross paths with some enemies. But for now, everything was chill. Me and Goofy returned to our little toilet base in Novo, but on my way I'd reached out to some people who'd potentially work with us. And they agreed to meet us back at base, but I wasn't really confident that they'd show up. For sure as hell? They did! And as a bonus, they even brought us some extra weed seeds and nails to help fortify. I got myself suited up to be looking the smartest cartel leader in the business. And we began preparation to fortify the entire industrial building. Who's this guy? What? There's a guy right here. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? What's your name? Sorry, man. Sorry, Bruce. Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Okay, mate. Well, um, we're looking for people that we can maybe employ to provide seeds. Weed seeds. I've got some seeds on me. <gasps> Is it? Are they weed seeds? I think so. And would you believe it? He actually had some. We agreed to trade, and we exchanged them for some valuable guns. Thanks, lad. No problem, man. Good luck. So, we continue to cut down the trees in our area and slowly bring back the logs to the industrial building. And eventually, 
we started our building work. But not even 10 minutes later, the competition began to roll in. Thinking if I'm gonna take like a one hour nap. Oh fuck! Oh shit! You good? I'm hit once. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Someone shooting us. I can hear shooting. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. He seems to up to the right of the base. Is that his shot? I killed one. Nice. I'm coming to you. Ah! You good? You good? Yeah. I'm 75. Oh, there it is. Was it geared? Yeah, pretty fucking geared. Oh, wait, did you? Oh, I'm just shot. Yeah. I'm here, yeah, up on the hill, up on the hill. LAR, got he's got an LAR. Damn, he hit me in the pa- He ruined my rags. Fuck, man, we get- we're sandwiched. Killed the LAR guy. Nice. Okay, there's one guy down here. Maybe more, I'm not too sure. Oh, he's got a massive bag as well, this guy. Oh, shot, getting shot, shot, getting shot, getting shot, yeah. yeah. He's still just sat there, you should be close up on him now. He's looking towards me. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna throw these guns away quickly. Oh, you good? Got him. Nice, nice. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess that was only the first wave of gangs, because the attack just continued. Oh, well, I just got shot. Yeah. Uh, get inside. Oh God, just, get inside. just get inside. Just get inside. Just get inside. We're cool. I'm blinking. I'm good now. But you, like, I, I don't know, man. Oh, one on me. One on me. Right outside, the I'm here once. That bro, there's so many of them. We were surrounded by so many. We used every last round we could to fight them off. And we thought we were actually wiping them out. We tried so hard to continue building, but we were too overwhelmed. Yeah, that death right there really bothered me. And I thought my death would be their final message. Okay, hold on. Are we getting raided right now? F Kevin, are you here? That person right there called Kevin was obviously one of our guys, and a very specific moment that you might have missed was him sitting AFK just inside our base. Is this Kevin? Yeah, it's Kevin. Okay, hold on, don't open yet, I'm gonna eat quickly. And that was the indicator to me that we might have been raided. They've just killed, I don't know, they've just killed Kevin and he was in the base. Aww. Uh, I'm logging in, I'm at base though. You're in base? Yeah. It's really fortified, does. I think we're getting raided. Yep, there's a guy right here. I'm dead. So they're in the base? Yep. We went back to our base that we were certain was completely raided. And just to see what damage was done and what was stolen. And thankfully, they didn't get into our golden loot room. Now, we had to figure out exactly how they got in, and we found multiple entrances. Our decision from that point forward was whether we should remain in the building, which would have taken a lot of fortifying, or should we just move? I could take us through the whole story, but to save us some wasted minutes, let's go ahead in time. Just a bit. Um, let me figure, let me get a view from the outside. Let me just look from the outside. Yeah, they can get through there as well. It's so easy to get through this base. Oh my god. They can get through here as well. The point is, there's helicopters on the server. All they need to do is just land right here, and they're in. This is, I don't think this building works. Look, you just prone to, I mean, this Whoa. is how they raided. Like, it's nuts. Even if we block this off, they can just, we, they they just can get breach through. charge through that. Yeah. It's just a bunch of waste of time, like, I'm locking up. 
Maybe this building you just can't we can't do it. I don't know man. That's I really annoying, don't know. Yeah. Cursed. It's a waste of time. But we've already done so much. Ah this is too much. It was clear to us that the building we'd occupied just wasn't going to work. We had to find a new place of business, but just nearby we'd found the perfect building. It had multiple floors and long corridors to fit a lot of gates. We fortified that office building, starting from scratch, and we blocked off every entrance or window possible. And by the time we were secured, we transported our remaining storage and valuables to this new building. Now that our loot base was completely secure, we needed to take control of that warehouse where we would grow our supply. So with the loss of our logs, planks and nails, we fortified the front side of that warehouse. And we were back in business. And now it was time to actually start this goddamn production and finally get our business established on this server. Our first crop, guys. Our first crop, boys. <laughs> and all we had to do now was sit tight and wait for the growth to happen. Wait, who's hitting something? One of us? Really? No, 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 no. no you <laughs> come out, come out, come out, come out. Don't move, dude. Don't move. I'm going to shoot. Do not move. I'm going to shoot. Okay, well now I'm gonna shoot you, man. Good job. On me. On me, on me. Inside, inside, master. Right, and outside, and outside on the right side. Got him, got him. You killed him. One more, one more in the base. Got another one, got another one. Got another, yeah. It's Freddy, it's Freddy, it's Freddy. I'm here, I'm red health. We need, a, we need a light, we need a light. Good shit, bro. <laughs> the group that raided us early must have thought they could get some of the last scraps. But we certainly put them right in their place and continued where we left off. Harvesting our supply, collecting everything to move on to the next stage of production. Okay. Okay, so if you combine two of those together, you can make a bag. So let's just do that, I guess. You, you have to do it in that. You have to do it in that order. Yet. You water first and then fertilize. Okay, there's one brick. We've got brick number two now. <sighs> oh, mm. oh, we good. Oh, what's that? Oh, no, no, I just got a shot. Where are you? Get to cover. Just at the entrance. I just got hit big time. The entrance? Oh, dad, what? That again, entrance uh, near the. Oh, yeah, they're up the top of the tower. Near the, uh, yeah. Jeez, I hit him. I hit him. Fuck, I'm running out of Oh, dude, it's. You can't wallbang that. He's running away, he's running away. Oh yeah, I see him. Uh, down there somewhere. Got nice. While we were fighting off the attackers, the other guys in the warehouse harvested yet another brick worth of produce. And there was even still more growing. Once everything was fully grown and compressed, we moved what we had to our main base. And man, just for our first gathering, we gathered a lot of bricks. And here is where our decisions going forward became very important. We were all very eager to do a selling run, but fortunately on this occasion, we decided to just do a test run with nothing. Yeah, we, um, I did this before, but we didn't have, I don't think we had this many people. Oh, oh I got someone shooting at me, shooting at me, I'm dead. Who's that? That was one of you guys, that was one of you guys, back in, uh, 
Novo on the way. I was looking for apples and I saw somebody and I thought I was... Oh my goodness. Okay, if you guys see anyone that's not a marker. There's a base right there. Yeah, there's a few bases around it. There's a few bases. There could be one of many. Yeah, we're on your body. We're on your body. Just come back, man. Um, I think I know where he's at. Where? I think he's, uh, I think he's up here. Do you guys see that marker? Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's, uh, I can't mark it. It's at far building towards, like, black market. There's, like, a little hole up there. Oh, yeah, he's up in the building close to us. Don't really east of us, guys. Yeah, I know. Oh, someone else up on the hill? I'm dead. There's so many of them. This place is so... I hate this place, man. I, we can't... Don't play. push up, Kevin. Just hold. It's like 20 different angles they're holding from. They're holding from south as well. From behind, too. We're getting pinched. Oh, I'm dead. Where did he get me from? Up on the stairs. Four of us now. Two, two outside, two outside. I'm dead. We're all dying to this guy. There's a bunch. I'm the only one left, huh? Yeah. I was trapped and completely overwhelmed by enemies. But luckily, all damage was disabled at this time, and I used that to escape. There's a guy in mid, there's a guy in mid. He's dead? Nice. Oh. The fight went on and on, and somehow they kept on returning to the fight with more guns. We desperately needed to put a stop to it, but eventually we found the base that they were getting this loot from. So we boosted our way up and inside, took their best loot from the storage, and one actually came in while we were raiding. But once we took most of their loot, we went back to our base. We were getting into some deep stuff right here. Enemies all around us in big bases with a lot of numbers. It was pretty worrying, but I was still confident we could run a successful business here and this base truly would survive. We just had to be smart and discreet and as long as we play the right cards, everything would work just Fine. Day two already? We hadn't even made any profits yet. Well, today we could finally begin. Me and two of our guys, Richard and Dirty Stank, went north to do a quick loot run to a military cave, where we'd got lucky finding some raid tools just the other day, we found some great guns that would be worth a lot of money, and it seemed like we were the only people that were there. That was until we were leaving, of course. I killed one. Killed two. We did lose Dirty Stank, but with all the loot we'd gathered from all three bodies, me and Richard had to continue the black market trader. We somehow arrived safely and I sold everything of value. And with all the money we'd gained, I threw it in a bag and gave it to my teammate to return to base. I left the trader going my own route and there were more people going to the trader. They must have been loaded. And yet another two kills on players filled with loot. I took everything they had 
back to the black market trader yet again. And finally, I could return home to Novo. What's the plan, boys? So we're gonna do a loot run, bro. Nice. We're gonna well, we'll do a selling run, I should say. I'm just gonna get the weed seeds, and we can go do this. Okay, are we ready? Okay, fellas, let's do this. Our very first actual selling run, which we do on foot, running 11 kilometers. There was a lot of pressures on this run. I mean, if we died on this run losing our supply, we'd be so discouraged, I think we would have just quit. Jeez. There's shots up ahead of me, and I'm kind of slightly on edge. Just because we've got to drive through here, but it's alright. We made it all the way to the black market without dying. This couldn't have gone any better. Or could it? There's a car. Where? Car behind us, coming up the road. Dude, we just fucked them up. Did I hear you? No. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. <laughs> Bro, they've got greenhouses. Oh. oh, storage. We need to just turn. We need to just turn around. We need they got weed, dude. They got bricks of weed, too. Stop. Are you kidding? Let's just get in. We've got to be quick, though. Hop in quick, hop in quick. Do they even have any guns or anything? Yeah, they had one gun. Those poor dudes. Oh my god, good job, dude. Bro, I, I hit, so I must have killed one. I must have killed one when they were right in front of you because I saw blood and I thought, I've hit you. Just... Yeah, no, that was, that was perfect. They went the yeah. wrong way, though, because that was their yeah, oh mistake. Yeah. That They screwed up there big time. You did not go that way. Good shit, man. Oh, I've got so much money. Oh my god. You want to tell me how? Do you want me to tell you how much I've got? I've got five hundred thousand on me. Oh my god, that's a lot. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look at what we can buy here. Lockers and ammo crates, right? Four door military no. Locker kit, fridges. Yeah, really cool. I think lockers are our best bet. Okay. Do you have space to get any more lockers? Yeah. Well, we saved money on a car. <laughs> the supply was sold, money was made, and we got into our semi-fresh new car, and we headed back to base. What a success. <sighs> oh, thank God. I think we just bail it, dude. It's done. Let me see what this is like. Yeah, let's go out to base. Now on to day four, and yes, we did skip day three, just because nothing really happened. However, day four is where it gets more interesting. 
Remember those guys that attacked and raided us on the first day? Well, they came back. But this time with more firepower. Oh, what the fuck? That's really fine. I just killed really defined. I just killed the guy like And suddenly more people showed up. I see him. Where, where? Edge, green, 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 green by the rock. On me, on me, on me. I've aged him. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. It's Freddy, man. It's Freddy. I'm dead, near base. You're dead? Yeah, yeah, again. Was he right on you? I see him, I see him, H. H, blue marker. I've just been shot. I've just been shot. On the rock. One dead, one dead, one dead. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I killed the other one. I killed the other one. We continue to beat these attackers going through many guns and bullets. But we'd always end up with more guns that we'd just deposit back in our base and we'd run out again. I'm here, I'm here. Is that from somewhere else? Dead guy there. Nice, one kill, one kill, one kill, one more. Man, that fight went on for ages and ages. I see him. He's dead, he's dead. <gasps> what? Barrett. Nice. Take it, take it, take it. I'm dead. Kill two. There's another somewhere. One's dead, another one's dead. Oh, he's dead. I traded, traded, Envy got my body now. Eventually, I died, and I wondered how these enemies got back so quickly. Then I found out how. A huge heli, I don't even know what, was picking them up and bringing them back. No matter how many times we would kill them. He's on me now, as I come over the heli to here. Literally right on top of me. Oh, oh yeah. But once I got back to base and wiped out the remaining attackers, the onslaught finally ended. But don't assume this is good news, because we had a bad feeling that that only meant one thing. Potentially a raid on our base. It was late at that point, and to avoid any possibilities of getting raided while we were sleeping, we built some extra gates that they'd have to blow through to get to our main loot. Day five. This was the day that we would move our earnings up to the big seven digits. Okay, <coughs> sorted, man. Okay, so we need to go to the warehouse and then we can move. Me and my associates had been busy and along with a load of seeds, we would got two more greenhouses to triple the speed of growth. Yeah, okay, everyone get in. Everyone get in, everyone get in. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna place these two greenhouses. <laughs> someone, If someone can come back with me quickly so I can uh, get all the weed seeds so that we can come back. So, get the bricks. Wow, we have 15 packets, boys. This is going to be a big, big run. Okay, you've got to shut everything behind you, bro. Shut everything behind you, man. And we headed to the warehouse with all the seeds, followed by our routine of fertilizing and watering, and then we'd begin the growing process. With only three greenhouses, this is going to take a while, but well worth the wait. Throughout that night, we grew so many damn plants, we couldn't even keep up with it all. We just keep fertilizing, watering, harvesting, turning them into bricks, and eventually, I think we had them all prepared and ready to go. We need to do a quick stop off at our main base, and then, um, and then we're good. We're good to uh, to go and do this bigger loot run. If you guys are ready. Yeah.
our biggest selling run yet. This was going to be tough, but man, was it exciting. Okay. I've got 12. Alright, we're ready to move, guys. You've got to protect me with this pilly bag and uh, McLovin here. Yeah? I can see a guy on the roof, I think. Yeah, there yeah, is a guy. Okay. He's hit one. Oh, yeah, he's, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. There were even more people up ahead trying to take us out. But instead of shooting them, we decided to back out the fight and continue to the trader. Once we were far away from danger, the server restarted. So we all logged off and logged back in after restart. Oh! I'm dead. I'm lo I've lost it all. We've lost it all. He just killed us all. Nido Kurt. Like, who is that? Are you logging in yet, McLovin? Oh, I just logged in and died straight away. I'd say he'll kill me as well, because... Oh, I mm. cannot believe this guy. You I killed him. him! I got him. No! Yeah. Nice! You legend! How low was he? Uh, he's pretty low. I killed him with an MPX. Dude, um. good shit, bro. Redemption. The shooter was killed, and we all returned to our bodies to finish this selling run. We grabbed every last brick of weed and ran as fast as we could to the black market. We ran into more trouble on the way, but ended up with even more loot and arrived at the black market. Okay, man, you sell them all and then just drop me the money after if you can. Just so I can get all together, you know, and then we'll sort. Oh my god. I know I know how much I have got. I want to know how much you've got now. 290. Boy. We're, we're millionaires, bro. We're millionaires. First trip, too. First proper trip. Imagine what it'd be like when you've got a full warehouse. Oh, man. We're going to be making so much money. Um, what's got the most slots? Surely the cargo one, right? I, I think the US with the cargo. Hold on. Okay, I got it sorted, got it sorted. How many slots has it got? 450. Oh, yes. We are going to have to drive out of it now. We're going to have to drive out of it now. Just to hide it somewhere and then we log out with everything. So we only get two people, so me and me and um and Jack open. Alright. We upgraded our transport yet again with so much storage, we'd be able to take five times as many bricks and do it ten times faster. We parked and locked up in a nearby barn and logged ourselves out for the night so we could return the following morning with less people online to finish this selling run. It's locked, it's locked. So I'm just gonna log in here, man. And then tomorrow, we'll log in and we'll drive this back to base. Hopefully this uh, goes smooth and we don't die. That would be fine. And like I said, the next morning we got on and drove that car filled to the brim back towards Novo and picked up our old car on the way. With both cars fully working, we drove them straight back to our base, and it was time to fill up that warehouse. Did you just see the moon's un unusually large? Yeah, the moon in this game's massive. Yeah, and sometimes, and then sometimes it's just not even there. Imagine if you go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know how that would even be possible. <laughs> man. Give, it, give it a few months and there'll be a mod to build a spaceship. <laughs> man, that'll be so good. <laughs> Fucking ISS on TZ. <laughs> 
me I would not be good, so I would be amazing. I just found a helicopter on its side. Where? In uh, Severograd. It's a it's a Huey. Are you are you kidding me? No. It's on its what? side. What parts does yeah. it have? It has everything. It just needs huh? the battery. No, it actually needs everything. Shit. Oh, that's fine. Oh my god, is that it? Oh, <gasps> bro, boys, we've got the money. We can get all the parts, and we can. Oh my god. We can get heli. We can get heli. How are we going to flip it, though? It's Easy. I know how to flip it. I know how to flip it. Easy. We'll just buy the parts and we can flip it. I can get... And if not, we'll just get the car. And we'll drive it. No problem. Easy peasy. Okay, you need to cover that, dude. Yeah, I'm staying by it. If we can get heli here... The, the Huey... Didn't I say that's exactly what we wanted as well? If we can get this sword... Where are we going to put it, though? We'll put it on top of our roof. Bro, it's gonna make everything so easy, man. I can't even tell you. It's gonna make everything so much easier. Okay, I'm heading back. The helicopter's got its rotors and all that. It just needs everything else. Dude, it's cool, man. We just need the... the, the... It's fine. We, we should be fine. I'm gonna get a 300k, because that's what we need, I think. Okay, we're gonna get the adder. I got the adder key, so let's go get the adder. You get, some of you are going to have to get in the back here, while one of you who's sitting in the front seat. You ready? Just hop in the back, bro, and we'll bounce. Okay, oh my god, please tell me we can get this heli, bro. Oh my lord. Can we go, lads? Hey, you already top out now. Here, a new hop out. The others stay in. Oh my god! Hi, oh my god! <laughs> bro! <laughs> bro! <laughs> you don't even have to get out. Just, you, you no point getting out. Okay, I've got the heli battery. I've got the hydraulic hose. I've got everything. Are we ready? Okay, we're coming back now, boys. I don't know how long this will take, man. Okay, cool. We got it sorted. We're here. I've got all the heli parts. Let me see. Can I pair this key? Car key? No, I can't. Someone else has already paired it, so... Oh my god, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh, 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 ah. Come on. Come on. They come up near here. Oh, boss said it. He was in pretty little. Yeah, if you get his car, just give me a little boost on the side here, look. Oh, see, look, it's, it's got... It. I don't know how we did it before, man. Flip, so there was a way of doing it, and it worked so well. Oh. <gasps> hey. Yes. Yes. All right, boys.
And that day ended there, after we blocked off the entire roof to cover us from taking off in the heli. But day seven began with a big disappointment. Well, it's always fun setting up an entire roof to protect a helicopter that just waddled off the edge. And I went up to that roof. We spent ages fortifying to find no helicopter. Yeah, I was pretty mad. Believe it or not, we spent a crazy amount of time fortifying that roof up there. But then I found out that an event was taking place in less than one hour at VMC, with the prize being a massive helicopter. But we didn't go and we logged off instead. Obviously that was a joke, of course we were going for it. But this wasn't going to be some ordinary task. We had to fight off pretty much the whole server for this heli prize. We took our best gear possible and headed to the checkpoint we'd set near VMC. Oh. oh. I see the guy shooting. He's dead, he's dead. I Did shot him, he's dead. One's dead, on H. Oh yeah, I see one. Where, where, where? Got him, got him, got him. We spotted the helicopter and it had all the parts. But the catch was there was no fuel. So all we could do for now is fend off the competition stopping them from getting that heli. And I continued to do so while my one other teammate went to the trader nearby at Green Mountain to buy a jerry can to fuel the heli. I got to the heli and it was untouched. And my teammate then returned and refueled the heli while I covered him with a smoke grenade. I then moved that smoke grenade over to the driver's side so I could safely get in. And this was the moment. I think this is it. Yep, I've got it, I've got it. There's a guy behind us in the field. You've got it. It's all on you, bro. All on you. I'm out, bro. I'm out. I'm out. Well, that went smoother than I thought it would. Oh, baby. Go. We got ourselves sorted with another helicopter bigger than we would even need. So we went to the black market, did some negotiation, and got ourselves a smaller, more mobile heli to take back to our base. We landed the beauty on our roof where it belonged, headed to the warehouse with all product, and went out to do our biggest run yet. Oh, there we go. All right, let's do this. <laughs> and from this moment onwards, we had become the richest cartel in the server. We were finding and growing so much damn supply, we couldn't even keep track. With so much supply, we were going to need more space. So we occupied next door and filled it up to its entirety with greenhouses and continued to find, grow, and sell. Wow, this would have been a great way to end this story, huh? But nothing lasts forever. Day 10. It was quite the journey we've been on. But like I said, everything comes to an end. And this time, it wasn't going to be a peaceful or graceful exit. On this day, we knew that it was going to be rough. Do you remember that group that had been attacking us from the very beginning? Well, I think they must have got a glimpse of our success. And probably still a bit upset about all those times that we beat them in gunfights. Oh, what the fuck? That's really fine. Where's that guy? I loaded into the server after a teammate reported that he heard explosions. 
right near our base. I ran over there and saw that they'd broken through our front and taken the majority of our building supplies. All that was left behind was a warning what was coming next. We were isolated. We'd spent so much time making money while everyone else would just gather on raid tools. These guys were surely going to raid us no matter what. There was no avoiding this. But let me tell you, we sure as hell weren't just going to give all of our loot up to these enemies. So this left me with one option. Burn it all. Every last bullet, weapon, storage crate, we got rid of it all. We had achieved what we needed and had a fun time doing so. And we were not just going to lose it to some angry group. We became rich men and that's exactly what we wanted. We didn't need to grind for raid tools and get some epic revenge. What better way to end the story for our enemies to raid our base to find nothing inside. It was, it was, a, it was a fun ride and we got so much done. We made so much money, but... We've, we've got to do it, man. It's all gone. It's all gone. Whoa! Oh, Not the weed. Oh. No! Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Just rounds on the ground. Come, 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 boys. We're gone, we're gone. I'm gonna shoot. Do the shot. Okay, so we're going to Savet, full squad. To make sure these guys would raid us, we had to seriously provoke them. And a couple of days ago, we followed them into Savet, and they led us right to their base in the church. So using those raid tools we found at the very start, we went over to blow into their base. We didn't even plan to completely wipe out this base, just to really make sure that they'd hit us back. Oh, and do you remember our helicopter that miraculously vanished? Who oh, guess who had it? Come on. Okay. I'm in, I'm in, I'm deep. And there you have it. We burnt our whole supply along with all of our money and finished by breaking into our enemy's base. We never did actually return to our office to find out if it had been raided. So we could only hope that the plan was successful. We all logged out that night, said our farewells, and this story finally concluded. Got that sunshine, just like the birds that fly.